143. Oh, oh, yeah. The title of my short charge to you is The One Thing. The One Thing. Let me ask you a question. What was the first decision that you made this morning? Just think about it. What was the first decision that you made when you woke up this morning? I'll tell you what mine was. It was to hit the snooze button. My second decision was to hit the snooze button. My third decision was to hit the snooze button. I hit the snooze button like 11 times. I am not a morning person. And so as what tends to happen more often than I really like it to, is I wake up with just enough time to go and get ready. Uh, I got a 7.45 a.m. conference call with my team. And so I'm taking that call on mute, helping the kids get ready, yeah. helping my wife get the kids ready, doing this, doing that, rushing out the door. Hopefully I hit it before I get the bridge, because then it cuts off and they know that I'm not really paying attention. <laughs> So, but I, when I got to the office and I got in, I had a 9 a.m. And in my 9 a.m. meeting, I'm sitting there and I'm with my team and I'm trying to be present and I get an email from my wife. And the email from my wife basically said, hey, babe, I just wanted you to know I thought we were going to get more checks from uh, this university that she works for. Uh, we're not. And we're $711 down. Uh, for moving expenses, and guess what? We're moving Friday. And it rocked me. Come on, bro. It's having a good day. Come on, bro. Making things happen. Be Meeting real, was bro. good. Be real. Ryan, but I immediately, yeah. immediately yeah. got rocked because yeah. I wasn't prepared for it. Amen. Wow. Bro. And so I immediately went to fear, faithlessness, frustration. Bro. It rocked me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. And, it affected my ability to be present and engage with my team. Right. It, it affected me to be there in a critical situation where my team needed me to lead them. And I figured at the time, I'm like, okay, I got this Nehemiah prayer thing. I, I, I was you know, right before the meeting, and I'll just you know, I'll make it up sometime during the day. How many of you have ever thought you'd make it up during the day and it just never happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After I got that email, I'm like, okay, I'm done. Call me up, bro. And I immediately, at the end of that meeting, went out to uh, Point Eden and had a quiet time. And then, oddly enough, I got back and I got the text from uh, Jason about doing this lesson on a quiet time. I read a book called The One Thing. And in this book, the premise of the book is this. What is one thing that you can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier wow. or unnecessary? Wow. 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 What is the one thing? And so I apply that in all sorts of areas of my life. When my looking at my tasks and what am I going to do today, what's the most important thing? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. But the most important thing, brothers, is having my quiet time. Yeah. Yes. But not just having my quiet time. My most important thing is having my quiet time first thing in the morning. Yeah. First thing in the morning. Yeah. I've had a recent conviction, and that is that I do not have my phone next to me when I wake up. Because what do I want to do? I want to pick up the phone. And what do I see? Even if it's in like night mode or whatever it is, what do I see? All my notifications from everybody who's up on Facebook or whatever happened during the Right? The kingdom's 24-7, so you know people are liking stuff. <laughs> Instagram and all that. Uh, that means don't stop. I can't miss that. Because then I start my day with the world. I start my day with the news. I start my day with email. I start my day with everything in my mind except for God. Come on, bro. Psalm 143, verse 8. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Psalm 143, verse 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love. For I put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go. Wow. For to you I entrust my life. Come on. How many of us would say that that is the theme of our mornings? It's not mine. It's not mine. But I made a decision this morning. Come on, bro. After I got that email from my wife, I made a decision 
No more. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No more. I, I, I can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. yep. I can't go off of my own strength anymore. Amen. So if I start out my day, the way that this psalmist, the way that David says, is I'm set up for success. I'm walking with God, and I can handle what he gives me. Right. To, to the example that Jason said earlier about walking in the chaos. Bullets yeah. flying and you don't even care yeah. because yeah. you're going to handle it. Come yeah. on. As men of God, we know what our one thing mm. is. What's the one thing that we can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or necessary? Brothers, the one thing is having a quiet time first thing in the morning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.